Okay, we're in sharp cap. We happen to have Jupiter centered. I'm gonna change my controls here. Go to 30 frames per second, drop my gain down so I'm not blown out. Uh, I want a little higher than that. Let's go up to say one. How's that? 144. That's all right. Red channel's a little hot. I don't care. Um, let's turn on feature tracking. Oh, I have to connect to the mount. Let's do that. I'm already in focus. I just refocused, but I'll show you that in a minute, maybe. Monitor. And I'll reload my calibration. Turn on guide. Sharp cap's going to drive it to the center of the frame. You notice the cutout box here. Planetary stabilization box. Shows you that the planet has been moved to the center of the frame. You can see the seeing is not that great. But I'm going to show you something cool. This is a brand new feature that I requested from Dr. Glover, and he has kindly implemented it, which is live planetary stacking and enhancement. So you can see what happens is Jupiter starts to look really good. And let's clip out some of that ringing. Let's darken it up to increase the contrast a little bit. You can see my wavelet section. These are my settings. Jupiter is now perfectly stable. See this red crosshair still from the planet stabilization. I'm going to ask Dr. Glover if he can remove that so it's not bouncing around your image. So I am in focus. I've got my ADC set. I'm looking at Jupiter. It's beautiful. Let me see if I can adjust my wavelet settings anymore. Maybe I'm go. It's a little much. Try something like that. That looks pretty good. I'm liking it. And if I decide, you know, maybe this is a little noisy, uh, I can always increase the number of frames I'm stacking. Let's make it 2,000. And it immediately starts stacking more frames. Poof, we've reached 2,000 frames. And this is live. This is live stacking. This is displaying at uh, 10 frames per second, which is more than you need because it's so stabilized that it looks like a still. But it is not. It is live updating at 10 FPS. And one of the really cool things that we can do is we can make a time, time lapse. So we just start taking a time lapse. You can see the time lapse counter is counting up here and we are writing out frames at uh, 1 FPS. I'm sure in the future we'll be able to set that as a setting but for right now we're just sticking with 1 FPS. Another thing you can do is you can change the color balance, you can increase the saturation. You can see I have the saturation bumped up a little bit here to bring out those beautiful colors on Jupiter. I'm not going to mess with that while I'm writing my uh, time lapse out. And I'll just let this go. Thanks for watching.